with the rain from the hurricane that went through Florida. I don't know if I have many viewers from over that way or not. I know I have a lot back um, in the states inward, but I don't know if I have any along that coast over there. I don't remember anybody ever telling me. Now they might. I don't remember them commenting or telling me that's where they're from. I mean, you can't keep up with two, you know, two thousand people. I just feel like I know the people that that uh, you know comment or have emailed me. You know, they tell me a little bit about their self, where they're from, or they'll comment where they're from or how the weather is. You know where they live. I hadn't seen many videos of that. Uh, was it Debbie? I can't remember. I really didn't follow that one since it wasn't close to me like I did Beryl. But uh, it looked like to me Beryl was a lot worse. I don't know. I might be wrong. But from the videos I've seen, I mean, there was some flooding, but I hadn't watched a lot of those videos, but the two or three that I've watched a little bit of <clears throat> didn't seem like it was as bad, and I thought it was going to be worse from the, from the weather uh, predictors that I watched when it was coming in. At first, I was kind of watching to see where it was going to go. Then I kind of lost interest. But that's what they do. They turn 
it's like toe sacks just big bags full there's my church there to the right but they'll just have big bags and that kid will turn all those trees the same direction for hours I'm not kidding I've seen him sit on that porch for hours and do that it's a lot of trees and that's just you know the one man he works with a group of men that do that uh, two other neighbors down our side road work with him so it's a it's a big production and you can always tell when it's a natural natural wooded area or if it's one they've replanted because if it's one they've replanted all the trees are in a row it's it's easy to tell the difference around here when you're walking through the woods because <clears throat> mother nature don't plant them like that than our little walk on our road that me and the pups do. Test done 
with my insurance has my new address on it. So I don't know why they would have sent it to my neighbor. Because our addresses are not, even, the numbers are not even close to the same on the mailboxes. It's the same county road, but not the, not the mailbox number. But uh, I'm going to run over here by her office. Dang, and I was ready to go home. I was surely ready to go home. They are putting in a lot of businesses right here to the right. I don't know if y'all can see that construction a little bit. There's a building out there too. But I think that's going to be a new shopping center. It says lawn and garden, pet supplies, something. I don't know. I try to read it every time I go by, but I can't read that quick, y'all. I can't get my eyes focused to read that sign. But I, I don't know what that's going to be. I don't, I say shopping center. I don't know if it's a new business. I thought it was going to be like a strip mall at first and have different businesses there. be doing some kind of road work here. I'm telling you, they're doing a lot of stuff around this town. There's a lot of businesses going up all over and uh, it kind of makes me sad in a way because there's so many old buildings that need to be used to keep them from you know, destroying the building and um uh, Everybody's moving out on this end of town. We're about four or five miles from the brick streets where the old town was. And uh, everybody's building out this way. If they keep building out this way soon, this town will connect with Central Heights. And that's no joke. It almost does now. like you're going to be in one city and then drive into drive into the next town and not even not even know like there used to be spaces in between you know uh oh hang on we're running the yellow light y'all have your seatbelts on we got to hurry up and get down here and see if this is a legitimate check I guess I could just go by the bank and ask them but I want to know what it's for I want to know what I paid and that's the only thing I paid for because my insurance is paid because I don't have any, that much done y'all know that that I did have to pay for that um, test because they thought I was going after my cholesterol's up um, you know I told y'all before the, the new people won't know this so I'll repeat it but uh, my son specializes in the field of the heart and he worked at the hospital for a long time before he became the nurse practitioner and is over in a medical office now. And uh, he looked at the x-rays and he said, I had a trace of plaques, like they could barely see it. So that wasn't the cause of my cholesterol shooting up like it did. But I am very, very excited because it's almost time to go back for that test again for the next six months. And I changed my diet up a little bit this time. So I'm gonna see if it's up or down because I still believe it was up that day because of the pain I was in from my arthritis. Cause y'all, some days my pain is bad. And uh, I'm just, I'm tough, I can take pain. And uh, I told her that day, I was hurting real bad, but I don't think people grasp or comprehend because I don't show or act like other people that I'm around when they're in pain. I don't show it on the outside like other people. It's there, trust me, it's there that I deal with it. But I'm gonna tell you why I've had to deal with it because I did not have the luxury of staying at home all these years. 
I had to work to provide for myself. And I'm just the kind of person that I'm not going to ask people for money. I'm going to do it myself. I'm, I'm going to get my focus and I'm going to push through the day and I'll collapse at the end of the day when work is over. And that's just been my life uh, since I got my divorce because I don't have the luxury of staying at home. But anyway, y'all be blessed. Know you're loved. Jesus loves you more. We'll see y'all in the next adventure and don't forget to say your prayers and y'all pray for me for direction still I'm still I'm still rambling in my mind well y'all she was coming out the door as I was going in she was helping another lady walk to her car she's a sweet girl anyway y'all it's a real chick she recognized, see, I didn't know that company. I knew she would know that. And I said, who are these people? I said, there's no phone number. There's no address. There's nothing. I said, is this a real check? And she said, yes. I said, well, I guess that sounds like a crazy question. But I said, well, I'm going to the bank to cash it. And she was just laughing. So I guess they give me that money back for that heart test. A year later. Well, isn't that good? And, and I'm going to tell y'all. Testimony time. When I took those dogs to the bed. A couple of days ago. If y'all watch my videos. Y'all y'all see me. Hear me talking about. They had to get some updated. I didn't have the money for that. And I. I called the vet and I almost canceled. I almost canceled the appointment. And uh, of course, that vet, that appointment was made, you know, in advance because I like to stay updated on everything. But but it's hard sometimes to make ends meet. And uh, I just, you know, I love those babies so much. And I sat at the table and I, I was crying. And I was like, Lord, if I don't get these shots and these babies get sick and something happens to them, I won't be able to live with myself. Just being honest, I won't be able to live with myself thinking that I didn't do what was best for them. And <laughs> a friend called me and asked me, could I cut her hair? And I said, girl, if you can come on, I can do it right now. And so... That give me a little extra money. And then I went on and literally I was counting out dollar bills and and quarters and everything. And of course those people there are real nice, but but I paid them. I got them paid. And on the way home I said, Lord, I don't know what I'm gonna do. If I need any extra money before payday, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I know you going to work it out. It's going to be fine. And I got plenty of food. The bills is paid. I don't need nothing. Everything's going to be all right. And I went out to the mailbox, and this check was in my mailbox for $98. $98. So y'all tell me God ain't good. That God don't take care of his people that are faithful. And this ain't the first time this has happened to me. This is not the first time. I can tell you many more times. And I can tell you times that I've checked my checking account. And uh, asked my son, did he deposit any money to help me? And he'd be like, no ma'am. And I'll tell him, well, there's $200 or there's whatever in that checking account that ain't supposed to be there. So y'all tell me how it got there. Now, that's happened many times. I can tell y'all many stories. This is, this is before he got married when he still lived at home with me. And he worked. 
and uh, you know, so he knew if I was needing money or whatever. And I always thought it was him. But he says it wasn't, but it was somebody. Anyway, y'all be blessed. Know your love. Jesus loves you more. And uh, he still works miracles. Because for me, this is a miracle. Because I needed some extra cash to the next payday. So I just wanted to share that little testimony.